So how did you adjust being inside? In, you know, it's not easy f- to be incarcerated. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it is a very boring life. Honestly, especially at the beginning when when I have no material or nothing yet. Uh, I, um, yeah, but, you know, last time I, I actually played a lot of games. Mm. I have PS3 and I also uh, use handphone. But last time, handphone game, not so much. But there are a few. And yeah. I was rich, and I oh, of always, I always spend, I spend a lot on buying credits. Yeah, every month I spend between a good two thousand plus to three thousand over there. Because money wasn't so, uh uh better for you at all. It's not a worry like you know you don't have to worry that there's no money to spend. You you yeah you have that sort I, of security. Yeah. So that's yeah. So anyway, I so I just anyhow spend, and one of the big issue is uh, the the problem I have was um spending a lot on all this credit. Uh. So I was always on these games, always playing, and then I I grew my characters into very strong, very powerful, right? But in the end, I uh, yeah, when I went inside prison, my phone was confiscated. I oh nothing. yes, you have to hand over. It, then how? Suddenly got it, no phone. You got nothing yeah, phone addiction is really a, a problem. Man. Thing, right? <laughs> yeah, it, I I I first hand experience it. It's like I have withdrawal. My my brain keeps telling me that I want the game. I, I want to play. It. Yeah, I want to feel it. I want to play it. But my but yet, but yet nothing re- to touch, nothing to press. Yeah, re- reality is telling me my the other part of my brain telling me you are in prison you don't have all this anymore yeah but yet the other subconscious yeah. part of my brain the, the, the phone I think that was, yeah it was still longing for the phone it, it took me two three weeks to really slowly get used to it's it so hard the, yeah for the brain to, to slowly get used and not not pester me with uh, for the game anymore so but that is one thing but you know how foolish all this buying of credits can be you add all this mm. money up every month to three thousand dollars. That's another air ticket, ticket right there for you. <laughs> air ticket. <laughs> I, I have this habit for almost the whole entire seven years, like. You can buy house, sir. You can buy. It. You can. Wow, well, uh, yeah, at least a good down. Uh, I, cal- uh. yeah, I calculated more. I think more than a hundred and fifty thousand at least. Oh, that's, that's a down payment. Like, <laughs> yeah, house. stupid right? Yeah, with all this hindsight, yeah, uh, that's why I'm. <laughs> That's why I say a lot of things that uh, happen. Uh, so and I, we find that I really find I'm glad that I was in prison. Uh. My my value was adjusted. I got to. Was that wake up call, as well hmm. for you? A wake up call. I won't say as strong as a wake up call, but at least I got to uh, readjust my my value, the way I think. Yeah, a lot of time for me to do reflection. Wow, twenty three hours a day definitely can reflect a lot, uh. <laughs> yeah, we are locked up in the room between twenty two to twenty three hours a day. Really, the whole time in the same mm. for the four of you. Yes, yes. say four. If you don't get on with the three, it's bad, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, but no lah. It's prison cultures. Uh, it's not as bad as last time. Um. Then again, I I do not really know because I was lucky enough to be transferred to this place called PHU. It stands for Psychiatric Housing Unit. Oh. Yes. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not psycho. It's no, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. It's just that because uh, when, I was sent, uh, when I was remanded, right, um, waiting for the sentence for the 14 months, right, what, my friend actually advised me, hey, why, you don't, why don't you try, uh, try to fake depression, you know, maybe seeing that you, you suffered uh, all this depression, maybe you will be given a kind of uh, like... Lighter sentence, sentence. Right? Yeah, so I mean, I I have to try everything just just to get my chance to to have a uh lighter sentence. So I I went to see the doctor and then I just tell him his prob I tell him my problem and then as I told my story, I I really start to keep crying and crying. My tears oh. keep flowing. So oh. the the doctor was shocked and the doctor was like, oh, "Okay, okay, you you have really." very severe depression, I will prescribe the medicine for you and then um, you just start eating them. So he gave me anti- antidepressant and, and uh, uh, sleeping pills. So I kept them all the way uh, until mm. my sentence is over. But uh, well, uh, 
as we know, we, I'm not given any lighter sentence, ah. So yeah, yeah. I, 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 but I kept, I kept the lesson. I don't want to cut them off because I don't want to work. I didn't, I didn't want to work. I, I preferred to stay in the room and do my own self learning. 